The Schwa Was Here, 2004, by YA author Neil Shusterman follows 1-8 graders' reflections on his friendship with a misunderstood loner, Calvin Schwa. Set in Brooklyn, New York, Shusterman's idea for the book came when he was speaking at a school and a teacher pointed out that he did not call on a boy whose hand was raised the entire time. The Schwa Was Here won positive reviews and several awards, including the 2008 California Young Reader Medal. The Schwa Was Here is the first in a trilogy called Ansi Bonanno, which is the name of the narrator throughout the series. Anthony Bonanno is his full Italian name. The several books deal with themes of friendship, abandonment, and loneliness. The two meet when Ansi and his friends, Howie and Ira, decide to have some fun by throwing a plastic dummy from his dad's company, Pisher Plastics, off of a bridge. They think they are being stealth. But Calvin, the schwa, emerges silently out of the shadows to introduce himself and ask what they are doing, scaring all of the boys. Howie and Ira don't take to Calvin, but Ansi remains friendly. At school, Ansi starts noticing the schwa at lunch, in his science class, and around town. The two become closer, and Ansi cannot help noticing how everyone treats schwa as if he were invisible. Because Schwa is functionally invisible, Ansi starts completing a series of experiments to test just how invisible he is. He calls these social experiments part of the, the Schwa effect. Schwa is Calvin's last name, but it is also a term in linguistics, a Schwa is an unstressed, unnoticed vowel. Ansi is amazed to see how robust the Schwa effect is and eventually ends up being haughty and taking on a dangerous experiment. He decides that he and Calvin will steal a dog bowl from the grumpiest old man in the neighborhood, Old Man Crawley. Despite their previous successes, Old Man Crawley catches Calvin and Ansi after his dogs start barking. Instead of calling the police as punishment, Old Man Crawley forces the teenagers to walk his large, loud dogs. They agree to their new task, and life is without much complication until Crawley's granddaughter, Lexis, comes to live with her grandfather in Brooklyn. Ansi meets Calvin's father, an artist who barely recognizes that Calvin exists. Lexis, or Alexi, is smart and beautiful and happens to be blind. It does not take long for the two boys to fight for her attention. Old Man Crawley hires Ansi to help her walk around and take care of her seeing-eye dog, Moxie. One day, Lexi fires Ansi. The boys assume that is because she fancies Schwa but it is really so that Ansi can ask her out without any complications from working for her. Ansi does ask her out, Lexi says, yes, and Schwa is crestfallen and angry, especially after he sees them kiss when they think no one is watching. One day, Calvin opens up to Ansi and explains why having Lexi notice him was so important. Long ago, when he was with his mother in Walbaum's grocery store, she just disappeared. For the longest time, Calvin believes she disappeared because he was not thinking about her long enough. Calvin believes that if he does not find someone to think about him long enough, he will, like his mother, one day disappear. Moved to pity and suspicious of Calvin's childhood memoir, Ansi decides to investigate the disappearance of Calvin's mother. Roaming through the grocery store, he finds the Tonight Butcher, a tall man behind the deli counter. He finds out that Calvin's mother eloped with another butcher one day, she was not, understandably, happy with Calvin's distant father. Meanwhile, Calvin has used the schwa effect to quietly put a giant billboard of his face over a highway in New York. It reads at the bottom, the schwa was here. He parts with his entire college fund for the billboard. Sadly, traffic is rerouted because of construction, and no one actually sees the billboard. The next time Ansi sees Calvin, he is immobile with depression. Ansi says he can help him solve the mystery of his mother's disappearance, and takes him to the grocery store. The night butcher explains that his mother eloped with another butcher at the store. Initially, Schwa is angry at Ansi for interfering, but as they talk, he is calmed down to realize that he, like his mother, will not just vanish one day. Calvin talks to his father about his mother. He finds some additional letters that illuminate her decision to escape the city. One day, Ansi arrives at Calvin's house to find a for sale sign in the front yard. Frantically, he spends the rest of the day looking for Calvin, having learned that he is not with his father. It dawns on him that Calvin likely set out to find his mother. Soon after, Ansi starts seeing, the schwa was here, written on buildings and billboards around New York City. Weeks pass before Ansi receives a letter from Calvin saying that he is traveling with his always mobile mother. Though it is an unconventional existence, Calvin feels that he is truly happy. 
Old Man Crawley has taken a liking to Ansi's zest for life. He revises some of his more cynical opinions of the world. He starts helping people. This includes firing Ansi's father from Pisher Plastics so that he can offer him the position of co-owner of his restaurant. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.